The uh, steel chainsaw, it's an MS-270C. Uh, the chain is dull because it hits some dirt and that always dulls the chain. So we're gonna use this two-in-one sharpener and we're gonna sharpen the chain. I, I like to keep the chain sharp because it makes it happier. It works better when you sharpen it. So I use this Sharpie to, to mark where I'm starting so I know that when I, when I get all the way around I know when I finished. So we'll mark it here. They got arrows to tell you which way to go and it's beveled so you line that up with the chain and that tells you that you're sharpening in the correct in the correct direction. I'll try to get the camera on top of it so you can see how that works. And you'll have to turn your sharpener around. Whoops. I dropped my pen. Yeah. So, we're, we're going the opposite direction this time. So, we want to go... And it would go... Just like this. Oh, can you see it? So it goes just like that with the tooth and then you you follow the pitch of the the two-in-one sharpener exactly the same as what the what the saw bar is even with the bar and then you got that you got your pitch right when you sharpen one two three four and then, okay we'll mark that And then do this. So simple. On to the next. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'll be back later to demonstrate the saw and see how well it cuts through the wood. We'll try to find we'll find a uh, tree that's come down and we'll cut it up and see what that's like. We'll only make a, a few cuts. Who wants to watch? Who wants to watch a chainsaw going all day long? But we'll see what we can do. All right. We'll see you soon. Adios for now. I'll be back. Okay, let's see how well it cuts now that we have the chain fully sharpened with our two-in-one sharpener. Whoops, I'm crooked. Ugh, I, ca I can't fix it. Mmm. Mmm, there we go. Let's see if we can get it started.
Yeah, it looks like it worked pretty good. I already had it warmed up, so uh, I didn't really need to choke it. Uh, that's why it took several pulls. But it's running good after I changed the ignition coil and uh, spark plug and everything else. Yeah, you normally you put your you normally you put that down, but I have eye protection on, so normally you pull the shield down. See? Boop, boop. Anyway, it cuts it cuts pretty good. It got right it got right through it, so um, I think I did it right. So I'm gonna wish you all a farewell, a goodbye, and adios. Until the next video comes out. <clears throat> Stay safe. Wear your chaps. <clears throat> Safety glasses. Safety gloves. Steel toed steel toed boots. The whole nine yards. Goodbye. See ya and aloha. I'm gone. I'm gone for now, but I'll be back someday.